Let's take a look at the fractions, decimals and percentages questions. Um, assume that all of these are non-calculator unless I say otherwise. So question one, we need to fill in the table um, below. So hopefully we know that 50% is one half. Um, now, a lot of these you can, as long as you understand what the calculations are quite easy. To, for example, to go from decimals to percentages, you're multiplying by 100 and to go from percentages to decimals, you're dividing by 100. So 0 0.25 multiplied by 100 is 25%. 0 0.2 multiplied by 100 is 20%. Uh, and that's that uh, row completely filled in. Now to go from percentages to decimals, as I said, you divide by 100. So 75 divided by 100 is 0 0.75. Um, if you're not sure what you're doing, just look at some of the other um, for calculations. So for example, 50% goes to 0 0.5. Um, if you're struggling to multiply and divide by 100, that is. So 10% goes to uh, 0 0.1, 1% it goes to 0 0.01. Be careful with this one, but as you can see, 5% goes to 0 0.05, so 1% will go to 0 0.01. Now, uh, we just need to fill in the fractions for 5% and for 100%. Well, 100% is the full amount, so as a fraction, that's just one whole, which we write as 1 over 1. Uh, but 5% per cent means out of 100, so 5% means 5 out of 100 so there's my fraction but can I simplify it and the answer is yes I can I can divide both the top and the bottom by 5 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 100 divided by 5 is 20 so 5% is 1 20th as a fraction question number two convert 45% to a decimal so percentage to decimal we are dividing by 100 so that is 0 0.45 to go from a decimal to a percentage, we're multiplying by 100 and 0 0.06 multiplied by 100 is 6%. Um, and 0 0.7 to a fraction. Well here, because we've got one decimal place, that means we're dealing in tenths. So 0 0.7 is simply 7 tenths. Always worth checking though, can you simplify this fraction? And the answer is you cannot um, because there's no number that 7 and 10 can be divided by. Question number 5, 91 hundredths to a decimal. Now uh, when you've got a fraction out of 100 it's easy to convert it to a decimal, it's simply 0 0.91. When it's when we're dealing in a hundredths then that means we're going to have two decimal places. If it's tenths, one decimal place. Question number 6, we are allowed to use a calculator which is a relief. Uh, a lot of people though forget how to convert fractions to percentages. It's top divided by the bottom and multiplied by 100. So 22 divided by 110 multiplied by 100 and that comes to 20%. Moving on, question number 7. 59% to a fraction. Well, remember that per cent means out of 100. So 59% means 59 out of 100. So 59 one hundredths. Can this fraction be simplified? And the answer is no, it can't. Uh, there's no number that both 59 and 100 can be divided by. Question number eight, which is greater 92% or 0 0.96? My recommendation would be to convert either the 92% to a decimal or the 0 0.96 to a percentage. Now I think it's easier to convert the 0 0.96 to a percentage because that involves multiplying by 100 whereas the 92% to a decimal involves dividing by 100 and in my experience people prefer to multiply than divide. So 0 0.96 times by 100 is 96%. That is obviously greater than 92%, so therefore 0 0.96 is greater than 92%. Uh, question number nine, a little bit on the tricky side. Um, again, we're not uh, allowed to use a calculator for this question. So five over four, that's five quarters. Uh, so we could write this as a whole, uh, sorry, as a, as a mixed number, which is one and one quarter. Now let's convert a quarter into a decimal. Now a quarter, hopefully you know, is 0 0.25. So one and a quarter is 1.25. And 1.25 is greater than 1.23. So therefore five quarters is greater than 1.23. 
Question number 10, which is greater 13 out of 25 or 0 0.5? My recommendation would be to convert both of these into percentages. 0 0.5 is a decimal, so multiply it by 100 gives us 50%. 13 out of 25, let's convert this into a percentage. So remember, a percentage is a fraction out of 100. Percent means out of 100. So what we're doing is converting 13 25ths into an equivalent fraction out of 100. Now to turn a 25 into 100, we're multiplying by four. So for an equivalent fraction, we need to multiply the top by four as well. And 13 multiplied by four, three fours to 12, carry the one, one four is four plus the one is five. So 13 out of 25 is the equivalent to 52 out of 100, which is 52%. 52% is obviously bigger than 50%, so therefore 13 25ths is greater than 0 0.5. Question 11, um, I would say the easiest thing to do is to convert 0 0.2 into a percentage, multiply by 100, so that is 20%. 20% is clearly greater than 18%, so 0 0.2 is greater. Question 11, they're much easier than question 10, which was quite tricky. Uh, question number 12, um, this is a percentage, obviously. Let's convert 17 twentieths into a percentage. Remember, percent means out of 100. So let's convert 17 twentieths into an equivalent fraction out of 100. Now, to turn a 20 into a 100, that is a, a, a multiplying by five. So therefore, for an equivalent fraction, we need to multiply the top by five as well. So what is 17 multiplied by five? Five sevens are 35, five carry the three, one five is five plus three is eight. So 17 out of 20 is the same as 85 out of 100, which is otherwise known as 85%. 85% is greater than 83%, so therefore 17 twentieths is greater than 83%. Question 13, luckily we're able to use a calculator here. So what I'm gonna do is simply convert 26 out of 40 into a percentage. And remember that to convert a fraction into a percentage, it's top divided by bottom multiplied by 100. So 26 divided by 40 times 100, that is 65% which is less than 68%, so obviously 68% is greater.